hey guys good morning so i just woke up and i'm gonna bring you guys along and show you my pregnancy morning routine i'm gonna show you what i usually have for breakfast how i do my makeup and how i do my hair a huge thank you to trust me for sponsoring today's video you guys have been asking how do i get my loose waves how do i keep it nice and shiny and long lasting so i'm gonna be showing you all that good stuff today the first thing that i like to do when i wake up is make my bed as you can tell jose is not here at the moment so as soon as as he's up i'm up like a little bit later because i like to sleep in <laughs> um and i like to make the bed and if you're wondering this is my pregnancy pillow it has been such a lifesaver during my pregnancy just because if you've been pregnant or you're pregnant right now you understand how difficult it is because you cannot stay in one position so yes pregnancy pillow has been my bff by the way you guys i have been getting heartburn throughout my entire pregnancy i usually get it late at night or super early in the morning when i'm waking up so having Tums on my nightstand is a lifesaver. I don't really get nauseous anymore, but I have the Preggy Pops as well. They're really, really good, especially if you're in your first trimester. I am getting close to my third trimester now, so really close to baby girl being here. So basically, once my bed is ready, I'll go in and brush my teeth, which I already did. So I'm going to head on over to the kitchen and make my breakfast. I want to show you guys my go-to smoothie. It has been my obsession my entire pregnancy so let's head on over to the kitchen so first thing we need to do is grab all of the fruits for the smoothie I like to use frozen fruit I just get it at the supermarket so today I'm using strawberries blueberries pitaya. we're also using almond milk my protein powder and I'll take about one cup a few blueberries not too much and then I'll put like four cubes of pitaya, banana. I'm gonna pour in like a cup of almond milk. Just one cup of my protein powder. I really like this, it just helps give me energy throughout the day. And on the side, I usually have scrambled eggs or avocado toast. I have been obsessed with avocado toast throughout my entire pregnancy. I was going out and buying it every single day, and then I started making it at home, and it tastes just as yummy. Breakfast is ready, you guys. I have my smoothie, and I also have my avocado toast. We actually have it on pita bread today, and it tastes just as yummy. I like to share this with Jose because he's not really a big breakfast person. So I'm like, you need to have at least one thing. He likes to just drink his coffee and that's pretty much it. I'm more of like a smoothie kind of girl. And this is so good. I can't believe I'm almost done. I haven't even started my avocado toast yet. I just like, ugh, I love the smoothie so much. So I'm gonna go have my breakfast, respond to some emails chat for a bit with Jose and then I'll come back and we can get ready together. I just got done with my shower and like most days I just do not have time to wash my hair. So I'm going to show you guys my quick easy go-to hairstyle and how I maintain my hair and how I make it look good in between my washes. My secret weapon is a dry shampoo. This is the one that I've been using is the Tresemme dry shampoo in between washes. This is a fresh and clean so it instantly refreshes and revives hair. Today we're working with like second or third day hair so i don't know if you guys can see my roots but they're a little bit oily so what i like to do is i like to give it a good shake and then i like to part my hair into small sections and then i'll just spray it directly to my roots and i like to just do that throughout my entire head by the way you guys this smells so so good it has a really clean fresh scent to it so i like to just let that sit for maybe like 30 45 seconds and then i'll just run my fingers through my roots like this i also really like that it gives me a little bit of volume so once you put the dry shampoo you'll be able to see the difference instantly so now that i have that in my hair i'm gonna go in and curl it i don't like having tight curls when i'm on the go and i need to like be out the door in 10 15 minutes i'll go in with a one inch wand and then i'll just curl my hair away from my face i'll just pick random sections from my head and start curling it the secret to loose waves is to never start up here you want to start off at like three quarter into your hair and curl it away from your face
this is what my hair looks like once it's curled i do not like it when it's like tight like this so i like to take my paddle brush and i'll just brush them out so it can give me more of a relaxed look and do you see how instantly it like changes from like tight curls to loose waves another key product that i like to use that it's super important because i've curled my hair i want to make sure that it stays like this for the rest of the day so i like to use the tresemme micro mist hairspray i really like this because it's long lasting it helps with humidity and it doesn't make your hair feel hard you know how some hairsprays when you spray it your hair literally gets like super stiff this has a flexible hold so you still have some movement in your hair so i like to just go in and spray this throughout my hair it also smells really good i love how this smells you want to make sure you give it a good shake and then hold it 10 to 12 inches away from your hair and just go ahead and spray it so we're pretty much done with the hair this is what it looks like do you see how nice and fresh it looks now you guys know my secret on how i keep my hair looking good in between washes so i will link all the tresemme products that i mentioned in today's video in the description box below so make sure you check that out i need to be out and about in a little bit i have a meeting this afternoon so i'm gonna do my everyday basic routine i don't want a full face of makeup i kind of just want to cover up look fresh look awake and look a little bit put together it doesn't matter if i'm doing a dramatic look or a natural look i always enjoy doing my makeup it's just very therapeutic to me so the first thing i'm going to do is just fill in my brows when i'm doing a natural look i like to focus on the tail of my brows because i don't have much hair back here so once this is filled in nicely with the pencil i feel like my brows don't really need much this is one thing that i just cannot skip i have to set my brows just because i feel like my hairs always go all over the place now that my brows are done i'm going to go in with a cc cream as you can tell i am almost out of it this is my go-to everyday no makeup makeup foundation it looks absolutely flawless on the skin and i don't use a primer with this foundation i honestly don't feel like i need it just because i like to set it once it's fully on my skin with a setting powder then I like to go in with a concealer just to brighten my under eye and conceal those dark circles. I'm going to go ahead and lightly set my face just because I do have an oily T-zone. So this is one of those steps that I just can't skip even when I'm doing a really natural look. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat this on my skin. I'm going in with a bronzer and I'm not really doing any heavy contouring or anything like that. I'm just pretty much adding a little bit of color to my skin. I feel like once you put your base on, your face is like completely flat. But then when you add a little bit of bronzer, it just completely changes everything. As most of you guys know, I don't have lash extensions anymore. So for like an everyday wear, I like going in with a volumizing mascara. And I'll just go in and apply it one to two coats and I am good. When I'm doing everyday looks, I also don't like to go in with like heavy highlighting. I like to just add a little bit of a glow to my skin. So I'll take a highlighter and a highlighter brush and just lightly apply this on the highest points of my face. Just like that. You see like a little bit goes a long way. And just to finish off, I'm just adding a rosy lip. It just goes with everything and this is the final look i can do this in under 10 minutes if i'm not like talking to a camera but it's pretty it's easy it's like natural it looks great on camera and in person and um it's it's been my go-to and it's been a lifesaver throughout my pregnancy so i am getting ready to head out so i wanted to give you guys an overview of my complete look the makeup looks great the hair looks amazing like nobody will ever tell that this is second or third day hair because it smells good it looks good and it feels fresh so everything that i use will be linked in the description box below and then for my outfit i decided to go with something a little bit more comfortable i have this long t-shirt i really like it because it goes over the belly and then i have my favorite leggings sneakers i just got these in the mail and i had to put them on because they're so stinking cute and then to complete the look i decided to go with this camel jacket it's not hot it's not cold it's like the perfect weather outside today in la and then just my black sunnies so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you again to tresemme for collaborating with me in today's video i'm gonna head out but i will see you all in the next one very soon 
Bye.